Have you ever wondered how to set up your dirt bike for enduro riding? You have come to the right place to learn new things today. <laughs> Through many years of participating in races, a lot has been learned and a lot of experience has been gained. We are ready to share everything with you. We start with the most important thing and that is what connects the dirt bike and the terrain. It is very important which tires you use and what air pressure in them. I could talk about this topic for days because it is really hard to choose the best tire and the best pressure. It all depends on the rider and the terrain. For slow driving in difficult conditions like mud and sand, I suggest lower pressure. But I must mention that with lower pressure you increase the chances of damaging the rim and also of getting pinch flats. The lower the tire pressure, the more grip on ground you will have, but don't overdo it. If the tire is on really low pressure, the dirt bike is harder to control at higher speeds, and the wheel starts to kick around on stones. Try to find the best pressure for you which is working in slower terrain but also in faster parts of the track. For really fast high-speed riding, I suggest higher tire pressure, because you need a completely stable dirt bike and then your suspension can work properly. If you ride at low pressure your dirt bike will be very unstable which is very dangerous for you. In this video you can see prologue qualification on Erzberg Rodeo. Pressure in my rear tire was about 0.8 to 1.0 bar. This is required because speeds are up to 150 km per hour, and you need a stable bike as much as possible. If you use extremely low tire pressure, you have to use two rim locks to prevent damage of the two. If you use more pressure then one rim lock is enough for riding. Also on low pressure your tire has less resistance to the ground, and tire knobs can't make good grip on terrain. For stones it is great but for mud it is not. The contact surface is bigger but it has a bad effect on the mud, because the tire knobs are getting twisted and don't work the way they should. I do not suggest using a pressure of less than 0.3 bar because of this. This combination for slippery stones is perfect. Keep that in mind. You must be wondering what is for you, a normal tube, moose, tubeless. I will try to explain the advantages and disadvantages of each system. Your tires are a really important part of your bike for the toughest of conditions. A moose is a foam ring insert and replaces a standard rubber inner tube in off-road motorcycle tires. It is basically a spongy circle that is made from foam that goes around the inner part of your tires. Currently Michelin is a leader in the production for bib moose technology. They completely eliminate flat tires, which is great if you're a rough rider. It is also great for dirt biker they're contently riding over rocks and on rough terrains, and the foam in the moose dramatically reduces the impact on you. The moose aren't without their downsides, they are a bit on the expensive side. They also retain the tire pressure which can limit what conditions you can ride in. If this is an issue, you may want to consider a heavy-duty tube system. These are a good alternative as they come in a variety of thicknesses, which gives the rider more variety. They are also far easier on the wallet while still handling tough conditions and you can save some money, but for hard extreme enduro racing I only suggest just using this system. The moose system requires a bit of maintenance, you can't simply install it and forget it. You'll need to regularly do lubrication. They require lots of patience when you install them, but like anything, practice makes perfect. The heavy duty tube is simply a thicker version of the traditional inner tube. It installs just like an inner tube. These tubes pose a far less expensive option than the highly priced moose and stand up to pretty rough conditions. Many riders report never having a flat tire after installing a heavy duty tube. But I didn't have luck with tubes in my back wheel. I get often flat. But on front tire it's working. I done over 100 hours and no pinch flats. The downside is tubes. You'll get a springy feel when hitting objects and they're still not puncture resistant. Installation is easier than the moose, but it's certainly not a breeze. The problem many riders have when installing tube, it's easy to pinch and damage the tube. Every enduro beginner needs first to test a heavy duty tube with two rim locks. After riding with tubes, if rider is not satisfied, I suggest a tubeless system, but only for the rear wheel. The tubeless for front wheel did not prove to be good and it's not worth testing. If you have additional questions, feel free to leave a comment below the video.
The tubeless system is similar to the Moose but instead of filling up the tire it acts more like a rim locks and seals into place. Like the Moose it eliminates the need for a tube but unlike the Moose it allows pressure changes. As low as 0.2 bar on certain tires and used most often in the 0.3 to 1 bar range. It resists tire punctures so it's like a bulletproof vest for your tire. The downside is the expense and the work involved installing. It's not as hard like the Moose but don't expect to be riding on the tubeless system in 10 minutes. If you're one of those riders always getting flats you might consider investing in a Moose or the tubeless. Many racers use tubeless in every race and it's a must have when riding in hair scrambles for getting best grip on ground. Tubeless is really good it gives you a good rim protection. And you can use low pressure to get best grip on ground. Even if you puncture a tire you can patch it in the middle of the woods if you have a repair tire kit. Now that we've mentioned all systems and their goods and bads. What's is best for you? Tubes are certainly the cheapest solution, but they are not good if you need to ride at low pressure. You will have a lot of problems with flat tires, and you will lose the motivation for enduro. Tubes can work really good in front wheel, but forget they exist for the rear wheel. Listen to me and invest money in a better system what is more expensive but also better and you can forget about flat tires. Tubeless is a good system for almost everything. It protects our rim, which is very important. You can use low tire pressures and it is easy to patch the tire if you puncture it in the woods. The best options are bib moose for the serious rider who wants to compete in races. But the problem is that you can't change the pressure in the tire. You often have to maintain them, and do not have a long lifespan. But for racing they are the ideal solution. And if you use super soft bib moose and back, your rear wheel will be bent after few races. I've come to the conclusion that it's best to have a bib moose in front always, no matter if you're riding with friends or going to a race. I use a normal bib moose that has about one bar of pressure, and in back I suggest a tubeless system for riding with friends and for training. But I would not recommend this system for the race, because it can get pinched flat and you can lose a good result. For the racing I would also suggest the bib moose in back because it is the bulletproof solution. On back you can use soft or super soft bib moose, but always use two rim locks for extra protection. If you have any questions about choosing bib moose feel free to comment below the video. Thank you for watching the video and see you soon. Go God, go God.